Jake was thirsting for knowledge, but we were bringing out we were bringing out milk scriptures. This is when you first learn you come into the truth. This is the things you first learn. But to these people out in the world, these are like uh, pearls. These are like riches. You know, they really want to know these things. Like you saw, you saw how uh, you stayed for a while, and we were bringing out precepts. You know, and that's how you're supposed to teach the Bible, like your brother said, precept upon precept, line upon line, here little, there little, right? And you take, you got to take the whole role. You can't, you can't pick and choose like a lot of these other Israelite camps do. All right, you got to teach about the mark of the beast is RFID chip. You got to teach about Cornelius is an Israel, you know, Israelite foreigners. That's all part of the uh, sound doctrine that has been passed down unto us. And you have to, you have to keep growing in this thing, in this, uh, in this knowledge, so you can edify and build up other brother spirits that don't know it, because the elect are still out there. You gotta understand, there's there's four angels standing at the great river Euphrates holding back destruction, and they're gonna let they want to let that destruction go, but we gotta wait until the uh, we seal the elect. Well, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai seals the elect. Right. And they're so, mine. I just want to piggyback off what you said because about um, you gotta keep growing, in this, right? But the wise man, it says in uh, the Proverbs, the wise man will hear and increase increase learning and knowledge. You know, so that's what you're supposed to do. You're always supposed to run more and more, and like we read in James one. To, uh, to keep praying to the most high, to keep opening your spirit, to, uh, to give you more wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Right. Yep, and Yahweh Shai said, any plant that my heavenly, that my father did not plant, he will root up and pluck up by the roots and throw it into the fire. And that fire is uh, what? The, the, the thermonuclear destruction. Right. The, that lake of fire that's going to uh, take place across the whole United States, here in Babylon. All right? Because very soon, America's going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. Right. All right? Right now, we're in heading into World War III. Right. All, all nations, they're gearing up for war. You have military drills, Jade Helm, throughout the southwest of America. You have Russian and Chinese troops uh, sending out naval ships in the, in the waters. All right? All these superpower nations, most of their economy, they're funding the military. All right? They're not funding education. They're not funding in infrastructure. They're getting ready for war. <clears throat> they're getting ready. For, they're suiting up with that armor and getting all their weapons together because uh, for that great fight. Joel chapter three verse nine. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. So yeah, uh, the Lord said, "Proclaim ye this, this these prophecies among the Gentiles." All you people, including our people, they're Gentiles in a Gentile state of mind. Right. But a majority of you so-called white people, you're Edomites. Right. You're all going to be destroyed here in America. Right. So have fun now in the sunny day of Las Vegas, but very soon you're going to be melted. Right. Right. Keep going, bro. Prepare war. Wake Prepare up. war. Wait, I thought, about, I thought the Bible's all about love. Love everybody. No, the Lord said prepare war. Keep going on. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. And that's what you're seeing now. All the troops are mobilizing across the globe. All right? You got a lot of people enlisting in, into the military. You even got women enlisting into the military. All right? In ancient times, you didn't have no women on the battlefield. But the, the, uh, uh, the weapons of the, this, the warfare in modern times are so easy to use. All you got to do is push buttons. So, these, so these, these bitches are all over the military, too. They're proud of that. They're real proud of that. He said, let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords. The plowshares, those are instruments for uh, cultivating the ground. All right, growing seed. Okay, keep going up. And your pruning hooks into spears. Into spears. So so uh, basically going from uh, uh, building up, because the cities are already built up. All right, there's no more cultivating to be done. Uh, basically, uh, right now, you have uh, this company called Monsanto, and the whole world relies on their seeds, yep. their crops. 
that, and that's what they're, they're feeding all these people are GMO baits, all right? So right now, you have everybody gearing up for war, building missiles, all right, creating tanks, all right, creating a, 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 the LRAD, like different types of like high-tech weaponry, Drones. right? Drones, laser warfare, all types of like crazy shit you see in the movies. That's all real. And it's going to be used in this, this uh, upcoming war. It says, hey, let the weak say, I am strong. So the weak, weaker nations like Iran, right? You got all those Middle Eastern territories, and they were looked at as weak, all right? The Japan was looked at as weak after it got destroyed with those nukes. Uh, they're gearing up, they're building up, all right? But America's falling down. So America's gonna go out with a bang, all right? They, they wanna, uh, the elites of the society, they created all this war to take everybody out because they know the kingdom ain't for them, it's not, not coming for them. They don't have no savior. That's why they're prolonging their life getting heart transplants and uh, drinking blood and sacrificing to Satan, you know? They want to keep their blessings and keep continuing uh, with life. But, but no, the most has got another plan coming. Right. It says, assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about. Tither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. That's right, the valley of Jehoshaphat's over there in Saudi Arabia, in the Middle East. And Jehoshaphat, the Hebrew word for Yahweh Shapat, meaning Yahweh's judgment. And that's where all the nations are gonna be fighting each other, and then he's gonna send his son back with an innumerable amount of angels, chariots, they're gonna swarm over there, all right? And then, then they're going to stop and start trying to fight the chariots, right? And that's when the most High is just going to beat them in the powder. I, 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 got a, I got an article touching up on, like, because uh, Saudi Arabia, they've been uh, having talks, secret talks with, uh, with Tel Aviv, uh, Israel, and it's, uh, it's been about uh, Iran. Now, their, their common goal is to stop Iran from uh, producing more uh, uh, nuclear uh, uranium for the, for the nuclear bomb, you know? And pretty much that's causing more and more drama. So they're talking about, they're having secret talks to try to uh, 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 interfere with the affairs of Iran. And once they do that, it's gonna be all hell is gonna break loose, man. And it's an uh, article right here that I found on uh, Blacklisted News. Um, it says, Israel, Saudi Arabia, acknowledge holding secret talks on Iran. And it says, uh, representatives from Israel and Saudi Arabia have publicly admitted for the first time that they meet secretly to discuss their common foe, Iran, even, even though Saudi Arabia does not officially acknowledge Israel, Israel's existence. You know, that's uh, bickering, so to speak. Uh, the, the admission was made at a, a sympo uh, so like it, symposium held on Thursday at the Council on Foreign Relations, um, a foreign policy think tank based in Washington, D.C. Um, so like, um, it says, at least five uh, meetings appear to have taken place between us senior Israeli and Saudi uh, officials since early 2014 and secret venues located in uh, Italy, India, and the Czech Republic. The main purpose of the, the clandestine meetings was to discuss what Tel Aviv and uh, Riyadh see as uh, Iran's increasingly powerful role in Middle Eastern affairs and to exploit, uh, explore ways of stopping Tehran from building nuclear weapons, you know? So, hey, man, this thing is, is growing up, man. That's right. And yeah. they've been in the talks uh, to go into Iran. And that's going to be the fulfillment of uh, Ezekiel 38, man. That's right. That's right. You know? Yep. And Israel, why is everybody so focused on Israel? It's, such, it's a small state power on the, uh, the globe, right? But it's actually a, a pivotal point in geopolitics. Right. Right? Uh, this is the scripture, Jeremiah 50 and 45. Therefore, hear ye the counsel of the Lord that he had taken against Babylon and his purposes that he had purpose against the land of the Chaldeans. 
Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. So he's the flock of Israel, the state of Israel. That's right. Right? That's right. That's right. So they're having these, these war talks, right? But that's that's going to lead for them, like the brother said, going to Iran. And then what's going to happen after that? That's going to wake up. That's going to wake up the bear. All right? Yeah. Russia. And with Russia comes China, because all those communists, those red states with them. All right? Really, everybody that has nuclear capabilities is going to shoot America. That's right. Because that's a part, a part of the prophecy. All that bend at the bow, shoot at her, spare no arrows. Oh. Right? That's why in Revelation, you got 200 million missiles just pelting this place. So the Most High is going to overkill with this destruction he has for Babylon, for, this, right. set for Egypt, you know? I got, uh, this is uh, Revelation 16, verse 12. And the sixth angel poured out his vow upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up, and the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. Kings of the east, those are those Middle Eastern nations, right? Iran, what is that? No, Iraq. Um, uh, uh, Syria. Syria. Uh, water. Um, and we're in between the sixth and seventh, you know, trumpet, right? When the seventh trump happens, boom, destruction, and then the elect is sealed, that's right? right? One third get taken up in the ships. That's right. And that's the end. That's the end of suffering, right? The that's end right. of all war. That's right. Ob Obadiah chapter 9, verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the civil kingdom. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. That's right. The Lord's going to destroy America off the face of the earth. That's right. And the maps in the kingdom, we're not going to, it's not going to say USA, 50 states, you know, California, Nevada. All right. This place could be left as a memorial, a desert wasteland. That's right. Keep going. Fire. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord. Yeah, because he, he's going to save one third of his people of Israel, all right, including the elect. Verse 10. All the sinners, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. All the sinners of the Lord's people on the sign, they're going to die by the sword. Right. right, and the sword's gonna come in different forms. The modern day sword's a gun, all right, the missiles, all right. So, if you don't get taken out by uh, this, this flood that's coming, because some of homie, uh, uh, Isaiah 59 and 19, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Oh, yeah, yeah, two thirds of our people love it here. They'll, they'll tell us, like, nah, America's not gonna be destroyed. I know, you know, fuck what you're saying. They're, they're comfortable with this lie that they're living in. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is falling and close up the breaches thereof. That's right. That's right. <clears throat> it's like it. That breach happened after King Solomon died, all right, under Jeroboam and Rehoboam when the southern kingdom split off from the northern kingdom. All right, but the prophecy states he's going to build back the, the tabernacle or the house of David as in the days of old, meaning all the tribes coming back together. And you see that in diff different formats across Babylon. You right. see uh, uh, black and brown gangs linking up, killing cops, you know. Right. You, you see uh, the brothers and the truth coming together, all tribes, all right? right? All the sons of Jacob coming back together, right. all right? And that's supposed to happen. Uh, uh, before the destruction comes, because the Lord, He's gonna, He's gonna uh, uh, lead us out. He's gonna guide us out, out of this place, like He did in Egypt. And I will raise up His ruins, and I will build it as yeah. the days of old. Our people are destroyed. So all these people on the sign here, they're in ruins, right? That's why your communities get firebombed. That's why the police come in your communities and, and watch you. Right and harass you because you're in ruins. They're completely destroyed people. You don't even know your nationality, your identity. You don't know uh, who your power is. All right, which which right God to worship. You don't know none of that. I don't know that. 
that they may that they may possess the remnant of Edom yes. and of all the heathen which are called by my name. Yeah, we're gonna possess the heathen, and that incorporates their land. All right, because this this world was made for our sake. You got the so-called white man in rulership, according to Job 9 and 24. But what does he do with the earth? All he, all he does is pollute the world. He uh, uh, endangers species. He's killing off the fish, splicing them with eel genes and rat 